Bye, cruel world. <laughs> Yay! What the hell? What am I supposed to be seeing? I'm not in its jaws. It's like got me under an arm. <laughs> it's carrying me away. That's what? Okay, let's have a let's have a conversation here. Dr. Wilbert C. Furl Furl's Fields is a pudgy man in his mid-fifties. He seems to be a nervous type and sweats profusely. Let me just change my narrative voice mid-sentence again. You wonder about his medical practices and if he uh, uh, ever samples his own wares. You gather that he has been the colonel's personal physician for many years. Talk to Fields. Please don't be so formal. Just use first now. Oh, damn, what the hell was it? Wilbur? <laughs> Talk to Wilbur. Ah, so your lineage friend, Laura, is it? You look very nice, Laura. Very nice indeed. Delicious. Uh, what was her voice? Oh, yeah. Dirty old man! Great. Sit on Wilbur's lap. Can you not understand lap? It's almost as if this isn't uh, Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> Talk to Wilbur about... What's the colonel's name? <laughs> The colonel. Oh, my dear, come a little closer. I don't hear well. No, your life! Henri, thank you, David. Talk to Wilbur about Henri. You're very pretty, my dear. Now, don't be afraid. Afraid you're not. Leary, yes. <laughs> Kiss Wilbur. <laughs> he turns you off. I'm playing the game! You don't get to tell me when to first! <laughs> I hate when games are like, no, you don't do that because you don't feel that way. I'm playing the game, game! I choose. I love how this appears to be a gun, like a long gun of some sort, just aimed at, like, a horse figurine. <laughs> what they've chosen to display here is how much they enjoy killing horses. <laughs> Various objects and knickknacks are displayed on the fireplace mantel. Is that's not how you spell mantel, is it? That feels wrong. <laughs> None of it interests you, though. The dusty old mirror hanging on the wall. I mean, I, okay, I clicked on the bookcase, but fine, sofa, whatever. <laughs> uh, there are bookcases, so there's going to be a secret book that uh, you move it and it opens the bookcase. Undoubtedly, I mean, that's obviously true. Lucy in chat suggests that this is a, uh, stuffed puppy, uh, like a, maybe taxidermied even. I, I think it's, uh, I think it's a horse figurine, and they've just got a gun aimed at the horse figurine. You know, rich people live different lives. The bookcases are crammed full of books, almost like bookcases. <laughs> Look at books. See some books on the table. Boy, I couldn't be looking more not at the table, could I? <laughs> Look at bookcase. Okay, so cram full of books. Great. Move bookcase. Oh, this is going to be a way to kill yourself. You can't do that. Dang it! <laughs> this game needs far more ways of dying. I'm, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Look at books. Read books. You can't read, silly. Glance at the titles of various books, but frankly find most of them boring. You decide to pass. Gun is pointed at a taxidermy puppy, says Lucy. I don't know if that's better or worse than it being at a, uh, that's worse. That's, that's worse, actually, than it being at a, uh, horse figurine. I thought it was a tiny cannon, says David in chat. Maybe? I think there was a tiny cannon in, uh, uh, the colonel's room, though. This appears to be the colonel's study, and uh, uh, as a large desk dominates the room. Upon the desk, you notice a small glass case. In the back of the room, two large cabinets also catch your attention. Uh, okay, is that a is that a gun in the cabin in the uh, the case? Small glass case. You know, the little silver derringer, der derringer, derringer, mounted upon a blue velvet backing. Uh, I'll bet if I try and open this, she's not going to be very happy about it. Open case. The glass case is locked. Okay, uh, well, this is going to be a way to die, so let's go ahead and save and break case. It takes us- it would look suspicious if the Derringer will suddenly disappear. Better leave it there. Kiss Fifi, suggests Lucy. 
You don't feel like kissing her. I obviously do. I'm playing the game, game. You can't tell me what to do. I'm telling you what to do. I'm the player. <laughs> Huge rhino head hangs above the fireplace. Two African spears cross beneath it. They just look like any spears, to be honest. Uh, move rhino head. You can't do that. Light fire. Try another way to say that. Uh, have I, have I broken Fifi? She seems broken. <laughs> I think I broke Fifi. <laughs> take, uh, Duster. Just take it right out of her hand. Okay, fine. Talk to Fifi. Fifi doesn't have time for idle chit-chat. She's too busy cleaning the colonel's study. But she's not. She's frozen. She's just standing in place. I broke her. <laughs> Look in fireplace. Let's see if I can find a key in one of these drawers. Nothing on the desk. Fine. Fine. Crossbow. Is this like a mace or something? Pretty feathers hanging from the handle of a tomahawk. Great. Only mildly racist. That crossbow looks hundreds of years old. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'll have that. You wouldn't know how to use it. Uh, it's a crossbow! The whole point is it's easy to use! <laughs> Fifi is the colonel's pretty French maid. You surmise that she is probably very apt in her duties, whatever they may be. Fifi is young, blonde, and sexy. Although she seems to have a vivacious personality, you can sense a certain cunning underneath it all. Okay, uh... Look in cabinet. Cautiously, you peek inside the open door of the cabinet. Not surprisingly, part of the colonel's weapons collection is housed there. Within the cabinet, you s I know it's not pronounced cabinet, just in case anybody's <laughs> being confused. You see an Australian boomerang, all boomerangs are Australian, a steel cutlass, a pearl-handled dagger, a mace, and an antique crossbow. You mean the, the crossbow that was right there? <laughs> just like a spare? Uh, take boomerang? You wouldn't know how to use it. I, I know how to use a dagger, right? Everybody knows how to use a dagger. You wouldn't know how to use a dagger! It, it's like, it's point and click! <laughs> point at Anna. My, my icon, my, my, uh, cursor is a dagger, whatever the game is thinking, and I don't know how to use a dagger? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turns out, uh, uh, Laura Bow is kind of an imbecile. Well, these things happen. Look in cabinet. You carefully open the glass door of the cabinet and look inside. Stored within it is the colonel's rifle collection. Take rifle! You don't know how to use a rifle. Anyway, they're not loaded. Okay, then take ammunition. <laughs> this game does not understand. Take ammo? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't managed to take a single thing. I feel like I have really been failing the, uh... The, the video game, because I haven't taken anything. Am I outside now? Yes. You're standing at the northwest corner of the house right outside the colonel's study. It's really creepy and dark out here. You shiver at the thought of venturing outside alone. Perhaps you ought to go back inside. No, that's for cowards. That's for cowards is what that is. You have come upon a ramshackle little playhouse. Hanging from a nearby tree, you see an old rope swing. Seeing those these long-ago playthings makes you wonder about the children who used to live here. That squirrel will kill you! It's a killer squirrel! Slip, slip and die. Slip and die. Ow. Gingerly, you sit on the swing. And break it. How embarrassing. The broken swing hangs from a nearby oak. Well, I destroyed that for no reason. I destroyed that because it was there. <laughs> you attempt to open the playhouse door, but discover it's locked. Who locks a playhouse? <laughs> so that's interesting to me. See the bell tower in the distance to the north? Can I, like, untie the swing? I assume not. Untie swing. That is not understood. Untie rope. The rope belongs to the swing. The, the rope is the property of the swing, which in spite of being an inanimate object, does own property. <laughs> That's how it works in this game. <laughs> you broke it. How dare you? 
You have come, across, come upon a run-down carriage house. Old crates have been piled before one of the doors. For obvious reasons, it has not been used as a carriage house for some time. The obvious reason being, the horses are all dead. All of the horses have died. Because they shot them. <laughs> They're just old crates. There's nothing of interest inside of them. There's nothing of interest anywhere in this game. <laughs> I mean, I, I've, you know, I've, I've seen what some of the people were saying, and th th this game is supposed to be about characters instead of uh, just random, you know, wanderings. You peer through the gloom of the old carriage house. Parts of the decrepit carriage lie in the right corner, and a small rowboat, no minnow, rests in the left corner. Oh no, that's where, uh, that's how Gilligan got lost. Uh, is this uh, like a writing utensil? Old oil can. Can I finally take something? Take oil can. Yes! I've done it! I've taken an item! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally! I took something! <laughs> Take anchor! That's too heavy! You have no use for an anchor. It's not the fact that it's too heavy that's a problem. That rope I'll definitely want. Uh, Take life preserver. You have no use for a life preserver. Of course I do, to preserve my life. How would I get these ores? I guess I can't- I can't click on them because I can't see them because they're up on top of something. Uh, can I take that rope from here? I doubt it. See an old- oh, it's a harness. Take harness. You can't get that. Climb crates. You don't have it. <laughs> Climb? Climb what? The crates! <laughs> Old boxes! Climb boxes. You don't have it. <laughs> DNA from chat points out, love how the game thinks you don't have a use for an anchor or life preserver, but an oil can! Oh yeah, clearly you will need that. <laughs> Obviously, it's an oil can! Everybody needs an oil can, drink oil. <laughs> Try another way to say that, such as not drinking oil. Uh... There's gotta be some way, because it says you can't reach it. It wouldn't say you can't reach it if that was... Can I just move the boxes? Crates are too big. Now they're crates again. Uh, enter the carriage? No reason to get into the... Yes, I do! <laughs> Try and get up there! Uh, maybe, like, stand on crate? You don't have it. Clamber on crates. <laughs> I don't think that's how you spell clamber. Is it clamber? That seems wrong. <laughs> it's not gonna understand it either way. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can get the rope from the anchor, even if I can't get the anchor. Is that a separate item? No, it doesn't seem to be. Get rope. You can't get that. Get oars. You can't see any oars. Yes, I can! There they are! I see him! I see him, game! <laughs> Maybe I can climb on this table? On table. Climb what? Climb rowboat. Climb what? What is this thing? Nothing. <laughs> well, this is a frustrating bit of video gaming right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, look in minnow. That's, uh, you look in the small robot, robot, but do not see anything of interest. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. On the west corner of the island, I didn't even realize I was on an island, see an old dilapidated stable surrounded by an empty corral. Love me a dilapidated stable. It's where I shoot horses. Okay, <laughs> that's the door that opens. That- oh no, there is only one stall in this old stable. There's an old, broken-down nag in the stall. You deduce this must be Blaze, which I know for some reason. Oh, she does not look to be in good shape. That's actually really depressing. See an old saddle hanging on the wall? Take saddle. Saddle's very heavy. Besides, you've never been fond of horseback riding. No, no, I wanted to ride Lillian, but, you know, you do you. Uh, that must be Bla Blaze's old bridle. Ooh, there's a lantern there, too. Take a bridle. Bridle doesn't belong to you, besides- The oil can didn't belong to me, and I took that! 
<laughs> Game! <laughs> uh, this is a way to kill yourself right here. Uh, getting trampled by a horse. Classic, classic. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I have 20? That's my limit? 20? Well, that's annoying. Open gate. Be free! Yay! I knew that was a way to kill yourself! Yay! I did it! <laughs> Since when do they represent death with pluses on the eyes? X's, you morons! X's! <laughs> Finding all the unique ways to kill yourself! Open gate carefully. <laughs> Not understand the word carefully, yeah, I'll bet. Uh, sedate horse. Can I get hay? Can I feed this poor nag? Get hay. You don't want to carry hay around. Feed, uh, Blaze? Blaze is tired of hay. He's not interested. Feed Blaze human flesh. This game does not understand the word human. Uh, feed Blaze oil. <laughs> you don't have- yes I do! Feed Blaze oil can. <laughs> Blaze isn't interested. Feed Blaze notepad. Blaze isn't interested. Okay, so we can probably feed Blaze something to get him to get out of the way and get this lantern that I can't- or her to get out of the way and get this lantern that I can't get. You're not close enough. Yeah, I would have to- I would have to get Blaze out of the way to be able to get that lantern, and I'll bet I need that lantern because that is how Sierra games work. You're at the southwest edge of the ba Bayou Island. The old road and fence have been overtaken by the rising swamp water. Well, that's another way to kill yourself. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, conclude that that is another way to kill yourself. I'm just gonna wander into the swamp and die. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. What? There we go. Wow. Wow. That is a lot deeper than you thought. That's, uh, that's some immediate deep swamp, considering that this was recently enough to have built a fence. This was, like, the same level as this. It's shocking how deep that was, but okay, whatever you say, video game. The owl is on his nightly rodent patrol. He pays little attention to you. I could be a rodent. You don't know. You don't know that. Oh, can I climb these trees, maybe? You're walking along the south edge of the Bayou Island. An old road runs alongside the old plantation's front ro Wait, a bayou plantation? <laughs> what are you growing, swamp grass? <laughs> plantation's front wrought iron fence. In the distance, you see a carriage house. <laughs> Don't suppose I can open this gate. Gate is rusted shut. You can't open or close it. Well, I, I, I can't close it because it's already closed, but okay. Climb gate? Climb. Climb this damned parser. <laughs> this game does not understand the word damned, in spite of being a damned game. You're at the south edge of the Bayou Island. An old road runs alongside the old plantation's front wrought iron fence. From here, you can see the west edge of the main circular driveway. I can also see whatever that is in the background. Ah, it's the playhouse. Creepy. Although these trees do look like great climbing trees, you really have more important things to do right now. Says who? Says who? I tell you what to do, video game! Now, oh, that was surprisingly short. You are standing at the west side of the circular gravel driveway leading to the old plantation house. What a wonderful view of the old plantation house. From here, you can almost imagine what it must have been like during its glory days when there were slaves. Yay! America! Statue appears to resemble the Colonel in full officer's regalia. Uh, okay. Uh, examine statue. It's just gonna be look at statue, yeah. Move statue! That'll work! It's too heavy to move. Shocking! Shocking, I say. You are standing at the south edge of the Bayou Island, looking towards the great old plantation house. An old road runs alongside the plantation's front wrought iron fence. Uh, well, here's another way to kill yourself. So many and various opportunities to die. A weather-beaten dock extends from the island's edge in out into the alligator-infested bayou. Towards the center of the island, you can see the old plantation house. Goodbye, cruel world! 
Get eaten by an alligator, do it. Yep, there's the alligator, I see it. I see it. Oh, I think muck was too much for you. I, I didn't, I didn't even die to the alligator. Can I, can I try to die to the alligator? Can I try harder, video game. <laughs> I want more interesting ways to die. Show me the alligator. Here I come, food for the alligator. The alligator cares not. The alligator does not even, I, it, okay, fine. <laughs> But what are in those crates? What are in the crates? That they're not even interactable. Vicious gators inhabit the swamps surrounding the island. For some reason, I was really confused by apostrophe gators. The frog is not uh, not interactable at all. Cool. <laughs> uh, bye, frog. Just get eaten by an alligator. Y'all have fun now. You hear? Can I go along here? This seems dangerous. Yes, I can. You're walking along the south edge of the Bayou Island. Old road. Another owl. Oh, I'm about to get killed by a gator. Bye, cruel world. <laughs> Yay! What the hell? What am I supposed to be seeing? What was that? <laughs> wait, wait. I need another look at that just to try to understand what it was trying to show me is happening here. What, did it grab me under its arm? <laughs> That's not how gators do. No part of that made any sense. I'm not in its jaws. It's like got me under an arm. <laughs> it's carrying me away. <laughs> That's what? <laughs> okay, that was that was odd. That that I would qualify as odd. Same in this direction, I'm assuming. Not same in this direction. Interesting. Right, there's that fence, that, uh, that gate that I couldn't get to the other side of, but I found my way! I'm on the other side of it now! You can't stop me, video game! And it's nothing! There's nothing here! Hooray! I did it! I made it to a way to die! Goodbye, cruel world! Well, we found a lot of ways to die, and an oil can. <laughs> For, uh, Sierra game, I feel pretty accomplished, actually. I found an oil can. <laughs>